and uh, yeah it's technically stealing it is if you write it in loge style that is stealing you're replicating someone's work without their knowledge and you're profiting off of one's work and that is messed up and even you can compare many AI pieces towards the original art and yeah they look almost the same so yeah they didn't only steal from the company who created the AI art because like PNC as what I've said before but they are also stealing from the artists because essentially some of these companies did not get permission from the artists they got their data from yeah that sucks and there's also this debate that so what's the difference between them and a bunch of people who steal art from people and then remove their watermark and yeah big difference but all in all they're both thieves they are only the one just wrote a paragraph about it yeah and i can rant all day with these things and this card for the future scared yeah but in all seriousness i actually love ai art i don't hate the medium i hate the user and i kind of hate the company who steals from artists but if it's used right and if it's um data got from the artists ethically i think it's amazing you know because we as artists have some art blocks and to get references from someone something from something is quite amazing you know if you, if you don't need uh, the copyright stuff and all it's kind of amazing to have access to that type of but now when i'm thinking about it someone is still gonna lose their job and it's photographers models now i'm thinking about it that's, that kind of sucks too but yeah we just want free access for all but not through this way you know because yeah it actually creates ideas onto you it gives a sense of completelessness because someone already thought something for you or i don't know it's just it prompts you to write and when you write something it kind of sparks something in you but you you know if you're not actually an artist that's it's kind of pointless anyways and i just don't like how people abuse it is all especially those who profit off of that either it's the company itself or the people who sell ai art and is the part um, funny part of the script i can say i don't like money because it corrupts people but at the end of the day exploiting others works are criminal and there are just no laws pertaining this as of now i will i hope in the future that we'll get something out of ai and i love to see the world 
where AI and artists can coexist. But right now, it just feels like struggle power between this relationship. And one is a parasite, one is a human. So, yeah, that's that kind of sucks, pun intended. But the truth is, of course, as a mere human, I have no idea what the future holds. And it's scary. But, yeah, I don't know what goes inside those AI. What they have been fed of, right? Because they have, they have probably stolen from someone, from other artists. Uh, yeah, I don't know the restrictions of it is what scares me, you know, you don't see their data set That's kind of sussy And all the red alarm is ringing off and everything and uh, Yeah the restriction of it is what scares me the most because it does not thrive on public domain art or it doesn't even disclose their sources so yeah it's scary at all they steal from the greatest and from the art famous artists without any compensations credits or permission at all and uh, Honestly, my anger is just a mask of fear because as much as I don't know what's happening behind the screen, we don't even have a projection of it. Like, is AI today going to be better next year or is it just this, just this constant innovation? Like, it won't happen at all. And... It's just got me thinking that if we automate art, are we even humans? Are we still humans? Because as far as I know, people create art because we want to be more human. And if you automate it, then let's just automate our lives, you know? Let's just go into the matrix. Let's just not leave. Because life without art is just nothing. Without it, we won't see other perspectives and we won't empathize with someone. We won't see their lenses, you know? And we won't experience something out of our own experiences that's that's what art is about and if we automate that then we're just succumbing to the corporates we're succumbing to mediocrity and that's sad that is sad and at the end of the day art isn't about art it's about how it connects to the audience because if there is no receiver of the art you know there's no uh, no one sees the art it's like it never existed you know well you can argue that the artist itself is the one who perceived it first but you get what i mean it's that art is meant to be shared for everyone And it's sad that we get these tools and use them for worse things. And, you know, I'm just hoping that as an artist, that I created artworks that somehow connected to someone, either to inspire, to feel good, or probably be mad about it, just anything to connect to my art and but i hope it's 
positive feelings though. And moreover, well, most of my thick most of my takes here are the amalgamation of different sides of artists as well and some of them are yeah let's... so yeah James Kearney, Ethan Becker, Louis, Drew Gooden and other contest artists and to think about it NFTs and AI art are just pounding on us, huh? Yeah. They keep on killing us artists. Yeah. It sucks. This is not an informational video at all, just something that's in my mind for probably a year because 2022 was the one that spiked AI art to face fame. And <laughs> it's really sad to think about it. We humans are replaceable. I just hope that people can have more training eyes, set of eyes, and training set of ears because there's also like AI music and just I just want people to be informed that it's kind of a threat for artists and even other industries as well because the decline of value of art will also decline the the value of people i mean we don't only want brain dead movies we want something that can provoke us or can comfort us you know that quote like comfort the disturb and disturb the comfort Double, just well you can argue that art isn't supposed to be art can also be pretty you know but what I'm talking about is that art should have a soul either its purpose is to be funny to be just gorgeous or to be thought provoking art should from a human yeah art should be from a human what you're gonna argue that photos are not from human but yeah who created the composition it's a human it's just tools that we create with as humans and AI should be a tool not a canvas it shouldn't be the end all thing it shouldn't be something that can be used to apply for a contest and win it because many people have did that and they just won first places the judges don't even know how to detect AI art to human art and it's kind of sad Just hope that we don't get to a world that's the only art at all. <laughs>